I feel hopeless. I feel destroyed. Well, you may remember her. We first introduced you to this South Florida woman last week after police say a man threatened her with a hammer and then stole her car in Miami. Her disabled brother was inside the car, but thankfully was able to get out safely. The next day, officers tracked down her SUV using a license plate reader, but... When they tried to stop it, the driver took off and a chase ensued. And that chase ended with a crash and the woman's car was totaled. But after seeing her story right here on NBC6, a South Florida dealership decided to help in a very big way. NBC6's Sharnay Amara has the heartwarming story in a story you'll see only on 6. It was an emotional moment that had everyone in tears. But this big red bow is wrapping up a happy nice. ending here in South Florida. I'm going to make it great for you today because I'm going to give you a car. Collapsing <laughs> to the ground. Hey, nice job, with lady. Joy. Well done. Yeah, I mean, I would I would be happy too. I would do the same thing if you gave me a car right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I hate when this stuff happens, you know, and these uh these businesses try to act all benevolent and stuff. This is just free advertisement for them, mm. you know. And a write off. It's still benevolent, though. They yeah, had to could do be it. worse. They could be putting the burger on. Some men are grateful. Yeah, some men are grateful, man. They ain't yeah. grateful for shit, man. He said, fuck your free car. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Some men, y'all, uh, yeah, yeah, man, you, you raining on the parade, man. Man, they, they probably gave her the better one. Her prayers have been answered. Her they probably gave her a $20,000 car and made at least a couple hundred grand off of this shit right here. That's the one win. Yeah, man. I feel like Jesus listened to me and sent me angel, sent me angel to 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 release my 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 my, my tragedy. This divine intervention came Saturday morning at Rick Case Automotive, surrounded by empathy. You deserve it. You deserve a break. Oh no! What kind of car is this? So it looked like a Honda oh, Rav Four. So I don't know. It's a Honda. Uh, oh, oh, that's a Honda. No, that's a Honda BRV. Yeah, yeah that's one of the electric joints. Mm. No good, man. You deserve it. You I deserve it. a break. But to really understand this moment, we have to bring you back to this one. I was shaking because the guy is threatening me with a hammer. Our crews joined Glenda on Alton Road in Miami Beach days after investigators Still say there. a man threatened her and took her SUV. Police spotted the vehicle and say Savala Cigar was behind the wheel. <laughs> Once I seen that car turn up on the side, man. When I seen Yo. that car turn up on the side, I said, oh, yeah, something <laughs> told <laughs> with, the, with the mug shot like that, how are they going to only pan for, like, half a second? You shot for, like, not even a full second. What's wrong with that's his a, eye, yo? That's a that's a fucking primordial. What's going on that's here? a primordial eight right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is why I believe in yeah, evolution. Man. Yo, how the fuck you even? How he even able to drive? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. He was just driving. Crashed. That's yeah, what that's happened. the missing man. link right there, man. That's the missing link. I'm telling you. That's like the somewhere around the ladder. He got stuck. He couldn't quite make it to glider status. Like this is this is what it is. He got one of them like uncomfortable fucked up eyes. Like you meet him in person, you don't want to keep looking at it. But it's so like in your face and he, he looks so weird. It make every conversation awkward. Like you got All one of them. Injuries, these injuries come from an accident eye, though. Yeah, these exactly. <laughs> His eyes were perfect before. Yeah, he was he was he was fine before this accident, man. I blame the woman, man. She's you know what I'm saying? I blame her, man. Houston Road in Miami Beach, days after investigators say a man threatened her and took her SUV. Police spotted the vehicle and say Savala Cigar was behind the wheel. As police tried to stop Wait him, a second, he's Hispanic, man. It's on Brito, man. Yeah. Savala Cigar, man. That's a yeah, that, that man. dude's from South of Texas. That's yeah, not an man, FBA. He, we gonna give him. Um, we gonna give he's him. He's a Caribbean a, son. He's an Aztec. Man. He, he's a dark skin umbrito, man. Yeah, he's an Aztec, man. This an Aztec yeah. right here, man. Tyreek, <laughs> Tyreek Nasheed probably uh, busted his nut when this he saw this story. <laughs> I'm telling you, goddamn tuckers, making FBAs yeah. look bad. <laughs> yeah.
killed. As police tried to stop him, they say a trooper hit that SUV and it flipped over. Her car was destroyed after spending seven years to pay it off. Now I am with nothing, with nothing. But that was then, and this is now. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. When Rita Case, CEO of Rick Case Automotive, saw Glenda's story on NBC6, she felt moved to help. It was all over the news. NBC6, you know, really covered it well. I heard the story and I thought, man, you know, I've got a lot of cars here. Let me help this family. Knowing that her, her brother was in the car, disabled and deaf, had to get out of the car, her being assaulted with a hammer, just the whole trauma of that whole situation. And then for the car to be totaled after she'd already paid it off after seven years, I had to help. The Rick Case Automotive Group gifted Glenda a 2020 Honda Passport for free. What do you think of the car? Beautiful. <laughs> yes, tax, you got to pay the tax, tax, the titles. Is, 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 does that make you, Mac Knight, does that make you... um? feel like, you know, this is even less of a benevolent act if, if they make her pay for the tax tag and titles. Her insurance probably covered that shit. Have yeah, they, they, they obviously didn't care about it. They didn't, they didn't make it ex totally expense-free. It's obviously, you know, they try, they just, you know, using her to, to, to climb to the next level. Also, um, because it's a... Uh... Happy and... So I'm assuming it's a newer car than what she had, right? Um, so her insurance is, is, is going to go up. That's a good point. It's a little different, uh, Florida. I live in Jersey, so I wouldn't know. Mm. And for a woman who lost her car, but never her faith. I feel in shock. I feel like this is a dream. I am, I don't. I don't want be. I don't want to wake up. Jordan Amara, NBC Six News. Mm. See, the main thing here is she's alive because she got attacked yeah. by basically a shaved ape with a hammer. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I was thinking. Like, that, like, we're missing the point here. Like, the fact that she's alive is already a fucking miracle. The focus on the car, it's like, yeah. what about the fact she that you got didn't get smashed by, by the hammer? hammer? For the first That's true, man. She survived a close encounter with the sun kind, man. Time we're hearing from a man who fired at carjacking suspects in the middle of a popular Dallas shopping center. Two of three men charged in the 2022 attempt. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what the three, fuck do we have here? Three goddamn harambees. That's what we got here. God, it's always them when it's a carjacking, like literally. Yeah, this is this is ape escape for real, man. Jeez. We, I mean, we've never seen a white guy carjack anybody on this show. Have we? Certainly not three of them. We not saw like one three episode. Of them. I can remember one. 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 And it was rare. No, I'm not like talking nice. about somebody, some crazy dude done topped in somebody's car. To get. I'm talking about like carjack. Like, yo, yeah. get out the fucking car with the gun to your head. Have you seen that? No, we don't see that. Nah, I think it was one, Ock. You did one and you were shocked. It was okay. just one time. Okay, one, one. Okay. Yo, yo, what's how you pronounce this nigga name on the love? Yo, I was about to say the same thing. Lakizio? Yeah, Lakizio. 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 One of them. Lakizio, Lakizio. Just don't get it wrong, man. Make sure you get it right. Man. The dude on the far right look like a cartoon character. Yo, he looks yeah. like he got some sort of like uh like air mix or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Ethiopian, yeah. Right. yeah, Ethiopian grandparents. Yeah, e right, yeah, Eastern yeah, yeah. African, some sort of like. Yeah, his name is Anthony Primer, so it's probably a grandparent. Those, but yeah, he um he definitely not a, a ADOS. He I guess I guess he a tether, and he's he like a, he a, he a Harambe a Harambe hybrid. He's not like a weird. <laughs> they have right a, a, a sand harambe. Yeah. Jacking and shootout have been convicted and sentenced. The violent incident highlights what had been a growing problem with stolen vehicles in the city of Dallas. Fox Wars David Centendry live with the story. David. 
Well, the number of vehicle thefts in Dallas is dropping, but that's only after a staggering year of incidents, more than 18,000 reported auto thefts. PTSD is a real thing, and you don't want to shoot anybody, yeah. but you know when you have to defend yourself and a friend, you'll do it. In 2022, Jack Hobbs and friends were leaving Odalay, oh, Texas, 18, off of University Park when a group of armed yeah. and masked men tried to carjack his friend's Maserati. Pushing my friend back, 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 give me the keys, give me the keys, give me the car. I thought it was somebody punking him. Then I saw the gun with the banana clip and I knew he wasn't messing around. Hobbs' friend threw the keys to prevent the carjacking. Then one suspect, Laquazio Dade, fired oh, a shot. Man. But Hobbs pulled out my trusty pistol, fired back oh, three shit. shots. One bullet struck Dade. That's when the barrage really started. 18 bullets came our way and destroyed three cars, maybe four cars. Families inside the restaurant ducking for cover, but no one else was hit. And it could have been a lot worse. That's a miracle that no one else was hit. Wait a minute. Yeah. Eight That's crazy. Shots and no one was hit. That's crazy. Yo, that, that old glider man, he wasn't, he, he was with the shits, man. He wasn't going for that. Yeah, this trusty pistol. They were pretty. Like I said, a trusty pistol. God damn. Salute to him. Yeah, he thinks about it for he thinks about this incident in a completely different manner than a son do. A son did this, he would be feeling like the man, like yo, like, like he, I'm gone. He, he, his status, no, it's just just his status would have increased. Like, even if it was a good shoot. Even shooting some niggas that carjack you, you you done shot some shit now. You know what I'm saying? You at a different level and shit. This white man's just like, uh, you never want to shoot anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Messing around. Hobbs' friend threw the keys to prevent the carjacking. Then one suspect, Laquazio Dade, fired a shot. But Hobbs pulled out my trusty pistol, fired back three shots. One bullet struck Dade. That's when the barrage really started. 18 bullets came our way and destroyed three cars, maybe four cars. Families inside the restaurant ducking for cover, but no one else was hit. And it could have been a lot worse. Carjackings and auto thefts are an ongoing issue. In 2023, there were 18,769 auto thefts in Dallas. Think about Wait. it. More than 50 stolen vehicles each day. A 40% oh, increase from 2022, according to Dallas police data. It's vehicles that are being stolen for parts. It's vehicles that you know are then sold. Some we've seen in terms of teens that it's joyriding. And in some instances, there are vehicles that are taken that are used in other offenses. We've seen stolen vehicles used in recent violent crimes. <laughs> Oh, shit. Old truck out of Frisco slammed into a Dallas police cruiser. Damn. In the bus in July. Look at that out. Look at how quick. Look at him go. He should be playing tackle. Oh, I gotta slow this down to catch him, man. I gotta. These niggas is different, man. Uh, Holy shit. Watch how quickly they exit that vehicle. They never get hurt. Thing. They never get hurt. It's always yeah, one of them niggas. Rap. Nah, that nigga. Look at that nigga on the ground though. He like he about to get rolled over. Oh yeah, he yeah, he he got rolled there. Why? Yeah, no, no, stop. No, oh, stop. He did it. no, he didn't. He's good. Wow. <laughs> he no, right there. Oh, He's good, man. Not he one never get hurt. Not one hurt. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Yo. That's Even crazy. the fucking car spared him, man. Even the car didn't want to hit him. Right. The car, yeah, yeah, man. It's Fuck, just, man. It's just, they yeah, have a thing about them. Yo, Sons are fucking invincible out here. God damn. Yo, it. That's yo, not true. A sign that these people are the Hebrew Israelites. I don't know what to tell you guys. Bro, well, when Future said, when Future <laughs> said, God blessing all the trap niggas, he was not playing, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, dog, man. That lucky son of a bitch. And he's going to get out tomorrow. This one, he'll be out in the next day. Wait, let me, um, oh, God. Look at this nigga. Oh, my. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> next album cover. Is that a mugshot photo? These niggas. Yeah, look what he got on. <laughs> if this nigga pull up on you, just get that shit up, bro. Please, oh. man. What an ugly smirk. Oh. Oh Ooh, my bro. god, look at these. Oh, these <laughs> niggas belong on the savannah somewhere, man. Like, look at 
No, they're sure. they're not fit for it's society. Vehicles that are being- no. No, no, and, no, and they're and they're showing you every day. They they they're, they're letting you know. They're advertising that. Stolen for parts. Right. It's right. vehicles it's that you know are then sold. Some we've seen in terms of teens that it's joyriding, and in some instances there are vehicles that are taken that are used in other offenses. We've seen stolen vehicles used in recent violent crimes. <laughs> A stolen truck out of Frisco slammed into a Dallas police cruiser during a bust in July. Three people were arrested. One of them, 19-year-old Deontay Moore, had capital murder warrants. A fourth suspect yeah, is still on yeah, the Yeah, he looked like one of them. Earlier that month, a group of five teens in a stolen car allegedly and randomly robbed and killed a teenager in Victory Park near the American Airlines Center. All five oh, are charged. they're the ones who killed that kid. Okay, we did that story. Five teens in a stolen car allegedly Hispanic, and randomly it. robbed and killed a teenager in Victory Park near the American Airlines Center. All five are charged with capital murder. It's something that major cities are seeing across the board. Dallas PD, however, says so far this year, auto thefts are down nearly 14%. And that number continues to trend downward. The department says there's a concerted effort man, to right? crack down. Deploying resources where we are seeing trends within the city. Dismant- Employing resources where we are seeing trends in the city. That sounds like over-policing. <laughs> Yo, 50 people getting carjacked a day and, and, and thefts are down 14%. <laughs> oh, They're shit. just not reporting them. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, these numbers are way off. Wow. And that number continues to trend downward. The department says there's a concerted effort to crack down. Deploying resources where we are seeing trends within the city, dismantling those chop shops, theft rings, making the arrests of the people that are committing the crimes. Auto thefts are not going away. It was less than three to five seconds. But Hobbs is satisfied that Dade is going away, sentenced in July to 25 years in prison. I hope he learned something while he's in. Hobbs is grateful for police and prosecutors. I hope he learned something while he's in. (laughs) we're different man it's just it's just laughable 25 years i hope you learned something yeah y'all are but at this late in the game like this guy he lives amongst them i get it that gladys society is kind of like the two trains on separate tracks but you gotta have more understanding of sons at this age he had to shoot at them 18 yeah. shots, 18 bullets. He'll learn how to not drop the soap. Hopefully, I don't know. The, the thing is, gliders just they're in their own world. Some gliders are just yeah. in their own world. Man. Yeah, them, obviously. Well, this this okay. glider is like a culture son, right? Like he's projecting the blank slate onto the son he had to shoot with and he's probably like oh this son man was just denied opportunity and that's why he acts the way he does so that's just fundamentally the issue here yeah yeah he he um he believes that um 25 years of prison will um do him good (laughs) (laughs) it's like yeah he'll are you serious like this son man is gonna come out well hopefully He'll be older. He'll be older. Well, be well, here's the thing. Less if prone he, to violence. If he yeah. does 25 years, like on his chest, he will outlive what he would have on the streets, most likely. Definitely. Facts. Facts. He would have been dead in a couple of years. That's true. Because all of them are responsible for another murder. Just, yeah. You see, after Hobbs shot Dade in the leg, Dade's friends dropped him off at a hospital. Investigators identified their cell phones pinging at both the shooting scene and hospital, at times consistent with the investigation. Really gratifying to see how they put it all together and came up with the verdict. As for Dade's two alleged accomplices, Kylan Owens' case is still pending, but Anthony Primers pled guilty to aggravated robbery and was sentenced on August 7th to 12 years in prison. I see that they ramped up the security now. Hobbs hopes his close call is a reminder for vehicle owners. You're keeping your head on the swivel. And criminals who might want to think twice. Especially in Texas. You don't know who's carrying a gun, so you better be careful. 
For comparison purposes, I checked out some data from Houston Police Department, and last year it had about the same amount of vehicle thefts as here in Dallas, and also this year they are seeing about a 13, 14% reduction, just like. He's in Texas, he doesn't know who's carrying, so you must assume that everyone is carrying because you're in Texas. I, yeah. I can think of a few yeah, uh, clues that might point you in the direction to know who's carrying and not. Yeah, if you see a sun man with face tits and, and, Dreads. and yeah. fucking shining teeth, I mean. <laughs> yeah. And the Grim Reaper smirk. The right. manager of a pizza place in Manhattan is in critical condition after a customer's pit bull attacked him last night. Police say it happened at Roma Pizza on Fifth Avenue in Chelsea. It began with the customer coming into the restaurant with a pit bull not on a leash. It quickly escalated from there, but some quick-thinking employees helped police make an arrest. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson is live in Gramercy Park with more. Kimberly. Well, just moments ago, detectives walked Tyshawn Watson out of this precinct. The 35-year-old is now charged with attempted murder and assault. You can see in this video, his left arm is bleeding and it's wrapped in gauze. We're told his own dog bit him. One of the many disturbing